Hi guys, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video is going to detail how to rank a variable's values uh, within IBM SPSS uh, statistics. Okay, uh, like in previous videos, the, the data set that we're going to use uh, for this particular demonstration uh, is the employee data set that comes uh, pre-packaged uh, with IBM SPSS statistics uh, in the sample uh, data folder. Okay? So this is the employee data set. There's a number of variables. Uh, the first variable is simply just an ID for uh, associated with each respondent. You can see that respondent 1 has ID 2. Uh, the second variable is the gender variable, males and females. The third variable in the employee data set is a, the individual's birth date, followed by their education level, followed by their job category, whether they're clerical, whether they're custodial, or whether they're managers. Uh, followed, followed by their current salary, and this is the variable that we're going to uh, rank now in a moment. Uh, followed by the salary that they started on when they started in this organization. Uh, the next variable is job time. How many months have they been in this current job? Uh, the next variable is previous experience. Uh, that's how many months of previous experience have they had in some previous employment, yeah, and so on. And, the, and then the minority variable as well, whether the individual is classified as being uh, from a minority race or not, yes or no. Uh, and the final variable here, salary normal, is just a variable that I created uh, in a previous video. So we can actually ignore that. Okay? But what I'd like to do is this, is I'd like to be able to take... Uh, every individual salary, okay, uh, and rank them, okay, uh, rank them maybe from the smallest, the person with the smallest salary, the lowest salary gets rank number one, the person with the second lowest salary gets rank number two, the person with the highest uh, salary gets the highest rank, and so on and so forth. That's one way we could do it. Uh, or we could rank them the other way around, where the person with the highest salary gets rank number one, the person with the second highest salary gets ranked number two, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, it's, you know, there is statistical uh, statistical uh, uh, analysis that we we might want to do at some stage where we might need to rank variables. Uh, for example, we might want to do a correlation analysis where we already have one ranked variable, uh, but we have a continuous variable, and we'd like to maybe, maybe use the Spearman rank correlation coefficient where we'd like to pass in ranks. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take the salary variable and we'll rank each individual's salary relative to all other salaries uh, within that particular within that particular column. Okay. Now to do that is quite simple within SPSS. All we have to do is we go to the transform uh, menu. Okay, here's the transform menu at the top. Uh, we click the transform menu. Uh, we scroll down to rank cases. Okay, so I'm going to choose rank cases. I'm just going to reset this here. Okay. Uh, and what I'd like to do is I'd like to rank uh, the current salary of individual of individuals. Okay, so I'm just going to pass uh, into this variable window here, current salary. You can see over here there's an option called rank types. Okay, we can click on that. Uh, there's many different types of options that we have in relation to rankings. But we're just going to go with the default, which is just a default ranking. Yeah, so let's hit continue there. Okay, uh, then it says here in the left-hand side, what way do we want to rank these particular observations? Okay, would we like to assign rank one to the smallest value, or would we like to assign rank one to the largest value? Okay, so we'll just go with the default, uh, where we're going to assign rank one to the smallest value. Okay, and we'll see what happens. There's another option over here which is ties. Okay, if it is a, the case where two individuals are on forty thousand euros, uh, well, what do we want to do in that particular situation? Okay. But the typical way to deal with that is actually to get the average of the ranks that have been assigned to those two individuals. So in other words, to calculate the mean of the ranks. And that's what we'll do here, which is once again a default option within IBM SPSS statistics. Okay. So let's just reset this here again. Let's just walk through this once more. I want to rank the salary observations relative to each other. So I'm going to go to transform menu. I'm going to choose rank cases. And the variable I like to rank is a continuous variable or a scaled variable within SPSS. And I'm going to move that across to the variables uh, to the variables uh, window here. And I'm just going to hit OK. And what we get is we get a new variable created. Okay, we get an output window just saying that the the ranks have been created. But if I go back into my employee dataset, what you can actually see over here is I have ranked salary. 
Now, there's a number of decimal places here. Uh, depending on how many ties there have been, uh, depending on how many ties uh, would determine whether we're going to one, uh, two, or three decimal places and so on. But what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take this data set and I'm just going to order the data set based off the ranked salary. Okay, So I'm just going to go to data. Uh, I'm going to go to sort cases. Okay. And the way I'm going to sort the cases is I'm going to sort the cases based off this new ranked salary. Okay, So ranked salary is what I'm going to sort all these cases by. And I'm going to sort them in ascending order. Okay, So I'm going to hit OK on that. And what we get is our output window pops up once again just to tell us that the cases have been sorted by the ranked salary variable that we created. I'm going to go back into my employee data set. Okay? And actually what you can see is this particular individual that has the ID number 378, who's a female, uh, who's a clerical officer, their salary is $15,750. They've been given rank number one. You can see that the next female, their ID is 338. It's a female. They're a clerical officer also. Their salary is 15900 which is greater than the previous one. Okay, They've been given rank number two. So you can see the way the ranking function is actually working within SPSS. It's allowing us to rank individuals okay, based on their scores on a particular variable relative to all other scores on the variable. So this ranked salary here is in increasing order. So let's do it again, but let's this time do it in, in decreasing order. Okay, So I'm going to go to transform, rank cases, current salary is what I'm going to rank. Uh, but let's go for largest value to smallest. Okay, let's just hit OK on that. We get our output. If I go back into SPSS, you can see actually that what we have is we have another variable here. Okay, this time the variable uh, has right, has assigned a rank to each individual's salary. Okay, but let's now reorder based off this. So let's go data. Uh, let's go sort cases. This time instead of sorting the cases by rank of salary that we did a moment ago let's do this new rank which is which is defined to be ran 001 this time let's do it in descending order okay so let's hit okay on that let's go back into our employee data set and actually now what you can actually see is this in descending order okay What's that happening here? This is a little bit unusual. Yeah, well, in descending order, okay, uh, the, although this person has the smallest salary, they're ranked number one with the smallest salary when we did it in, in ascending order. In descending order, they're ranked 474th. Okay, let's do it once more, but let's this time, well, let's reorder this data set from smallest to largest based off, let's sort the cases, okay, uh, let's sort the cases based in ascending order. Okay, let's hit OK on that. And once again, you can actually see this time that based off this variable here, the person with the highest salary is a person that's a male, ID 29. They're on 145,000 euros in this organization. And they've got the highest salary and they're ranked number one on this particular variable. Okay, guys. Uh, once again, this was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. And I hope this video, uh, this short video detailing how to rank uh, observations uh, on a particular variable within SPSS was somewhat helpful.